So we know that the meteorites are slamming into the surface of the Earth. Small ones just make small holes. Big ones make bigger holes. Really big ones, actually, when they impact, they stop. They have to release an enormous amount of kinetic energy. A lot of this energy goes into heat. This heat alters the ground. It changes the nature of the ground itself. So we have, for example, fragmented, fractured, and shattered rocks that actually refuse into other rocks we call breccias. But there's something else that happens too. Um, near some of these craters, particularly the ones in the desert, we often find this glassy sort of material. Okay. And, and generically, we call it green glass because it's glassy and it's green, typically. And so this green glass or, or, or something, we often find it near these impact craters. Now, long before they discovered, realized what impact craters were, actually impact craters, they're still arguing you know, what made the big hole in the ground. Uh, they were noticing these kinds of rock structures that didn't make any sense because it was clear that something was melted and fused together, but it didn't really seem to be an igneous rock, nor did it really seem to be a true metamorphic in the sense of the other kinds of metamorphic rocks that we, we recognize. So this is something that was really weird and odd. The key, actually, understanding this happened in uh, 1945 at the Trinity site in New Mexico when they first tested the atomic bomb. Uh, the heat and blast from that atomic bomb actually fused the sand of the desert into this greenish, glassy sort of rock, a uh, mineral uh, called trinitite. And so... Uh, that kind of led them to understand that these kinds of features they were finding near the impact craters were in fact fused earth materials that were a result of the impact. Now kind of mixed in with the earth is probably a little bit of, of extraterrestrial material as well. Uh, so uh, so this, this is an interesting sort of thing. Collectively, we call these things impact types. So these are going to be minerals and rocks formed by a sudden impact with the surface of the earth. Now, there are some really big things that are out there. You know, imagine this, you know, artist impression here of a really big impact that hits and starts throwing stuff up and some of the material blasted and molten earth surface material gets blown completely out of Earth's atmosphere and falls back somewhere else. You know, that seems pretty fantastic. Could it happen? And yeah, because I actually have some of them here at the house. I have a couple of these and then oh, we have a whole box of them on campus. They're called tectites. And these tectites uh, are formed from this material blown outwards by an impact. So some of them are cooled on the way up out of the atmosphere. Some of them cool in space. They come back down and some cool on the way down through the atmosphere. So that gives you different forms of tectites depending on where they cool. Uh, so the different shapes and forms, you know, come from, you know, how far they, they went before they hit the ground. Okay, uh, tectites often come not just one or two, but like a whole bunch of them in a general area. There's several tectite fields around, including uh, there's a big tectite field um, in Grimes County, uh, south of uh, College Station. And so uh, da down in there, we have a bunch of tectites down in there, down near Navasota. So there, there are other tectite fields here and there that we've identified uh, around uh, the, the, the Earth. Uh, if you want to actually see meteorites and tectites, uh, one place you can go is the Monig Meteorite Museum at uh, TCU. 
And so uh, it's open to the public for free. Now, I don't know if it still is right now. I think they're starting to reopen some of the museums after the COVID restrictions. I don't know the hours, the morning right now, but, you know, once they do become available, you can actually do something like that for extra credit. And so uh, the uh, uh, there are, are places to see both tektites and meteorites.